and let me just see if we got any questions here. Uh, um, okay. So this would be for WordPress. Uh, I'm just trying to see any questions we got from our Facebook group. Reading assessment. Okay, got it. So yeah, so we will just monitor all the messaging uh, coming from our group and also the chat box below. So if, if you have any questions, just feel free to put in the chat box or maybe raise your hand so we can um, help you out. Okay, so thank you for join, uh, joining our tech toolbox for this week. So I have here um, Giselle, one of our tech experts. She will be a co-host for this event. So whenever uh, something will happen, we can just like, you know, make Giselle jump on. And hey, Carrie, welcome to the call. And yeah, so let's just um, keep this thing open right here so we can get other people coming in. Okay, so we are getting people coming in on our Facebook group too. Okay, that's great. So yeah, so thank you guys for jumping on our call today. So our topic for today will be just about um, giving you a full walkthrough of the features we have in Techmatics and how you can probably use it with your business. But it actually depends on like uh, your business niche on what you do and how you usually uh, maybe run your business or what are the processes you do. But basically, these are some of the features we can offer with Techmatics. But before we can start with the um, actual thing, let me just uh, make you familiar with the new lines of support we have. So in your dashboard, you will see this on the lower right-hand side. This block bubble right here is the new line of support we got. Uh, this have like um, a team of experts that you can contact depending on um, any issues you are having with Techmatics. So yeah. So this are this is the um the new chat widget that you can um use whenever you have any questions, you have any concerns, you have any suggestions and things like that. So the um maybe minimum handling time of like getting a response from our specialist team will be around one to two minutes. So it's pretty quick. So if you have any questions and you want like um a quick solution, please uh ch uh manage to. Um, check on our new chat widget for a new line of support. And aside from that, here on the left-hand side, you will see this knowledge base. I know these are duplicates, but this has uh, the same content. But this one is actually the new line of support we got for a knowledge base. So let's just wait for that one to show up. But if it won't show up, yep, here. So this is our knowledge base. Um, what I can actually uh, suggest to you, we have a onboarding checklist in here for those people who are like maybe new with Techmatics, who are like start the, who are just like starting to set up their account. Um, and you want to maybe ensure that you got your account properly set up. We suggest that you can go through this onboarding checklist and this exact thing. Go through all of these articles right here and um, implement it to your account. Let me just copy this link and put it in the chat box um, in case you guys are interested to um, check on this link. Let me just go to chat, um, everyone. And yeah, so that's the link for the onboarding checklist. Um, and also you can, uh, you can try to maybe access this one on our website. So we have here our website. We are currently having a new look with our website. Thanks to Giselle. So if you have any maybe um, questions or help regarding with building websites, landing pages, um, and things like that, I suggest you can book a maybe a free 15-minute call with Giselle or maybe pay an R with Giselle to help you out building your website. So yeah. So here onto our dashboard, hover to help, you will see two drop-down buttons right here. Um, that knowledge base can be found here under help articles, but you can also check out our verified independent consultants. So if any of you wants to be a um, independent consultant, please um, email us support .com so we can assist you. So yeah, so let's just do the help articles for now. So as you can see, it actually has the same thing with what you see in here. So if you're having trouble with like accessing this one, if it's freezes and stuff like that, just go to our website to actually access it. 
So yeah. So we have different steps in here to um, maybe just type of a checklist you can do to your account just to make sure or to ensure that you got your account, your account properly set up. But if you need any help, like for your help, you can still contact us at supporttechmatics.com. Um, we are still like, you know, um, catering, catering questions to, uh, from our support inbox. So, yeah. And aside from that, let me see what I got here. Let me just hover to maybe an inbox. So aside from that, this thing right here, when you click on Start Help Guide, this is also one of the uh, new things we implemented. This is an interactive bubbles that will uh, point you into the right um, sections and walk you through about what this specific page is about. So you can just click on Site Guided, uh, guided Tour and this chat bubble will help you out on what to do and what to do next. So yeah, so as you can see, we have different steps in here that you can follow. This chat bubbles will be basically um, giving you a workaround on uh, the exact page you're currently in. So aside from that one, that's the new line of support. But our existing support, like for example, our um, like free tech experts call is also like um, still available. Sorry, I'm just checking to the Facebook message we got. Um, yeah, so that's good. So yeah, um, all of our services are still available. So if you need any help, maybe uh, contact us at supportmedics.com. And here on a book a call, we actually added a new, um, a new thing right here, which is basically booking a tech support for a specialist. So if you think that your question is like maybe um, quite advanced, you can go here to uh, book a tech support with our uh, specialist. But our like a line of support here for the free 15 minute call is also still available. So you can also book us for a call. Okay, so I think that would be good for the line of support we got. So do you guys have any questions? So if you have any maybe questions for that one, you can just like put the questions onto the chat box or you can also raise your hand. Hey, Julian, I think you just came in. And yeah, so yeah, so Let's start with giving you a quick walkthrough on what we have with Technetics. These are basically the same, um, the features we have currently. So when you go to dashboard, this is basically the numbers and the digits of how your business is going. So this can be triggered or this can be customized on your workflows or on your customer journey. Let me just hover to customer journey to see, uh, to give you a walkthrough with that one. So you will see these opportunities in here you will see the number of closed leads you got, open leads and lost leads, and you will see the digits that you assigned to them. So let me just show you an example. Uh, let's just wait for that one to load. Sorry, my computer there. Uh, my computer is quite slow. Um, I'm checking to the message, sorry for that. Mm, let me just do a refresh, but yeah. So um, those digits that you can see in the dashboards are actually from the value you put to your leads on your customer journey. So for example, I have here booking confirm, which is not test. When I click on this specific tile, um, you will see this lead value in here. This is where you put the lead value to make it like maybe appear to your dashboard. So for example, Natalie booked a, uh, uh, let me just go back book a call with me so as you can see she's currently on a booking confirmed let's have for example this booking schedule is a paid one and Natalie paid me around maybe fifty dollars for that one so I'll put in a uh, lead value as 50 and maybe I'll put Natalie as it's actually optional you can also just do the lead value if you want let me just update a pop line uh, let me just update this one and that let me just put Nathan here and I'll show you what happens. Hang on, this does not work. Um, okay, sorry, I have to put things again. Let me try to do it again. Uh, not test, let me just do not techmetics. That's fine, yeah. So let's say my value would be around $50 because I paid um, this account $50 so I can pay a call. So what you can actually see to your dashboard, it will appear that you got like $50 in there. So it will be great if you start implementing um, like lead value to your leads so you can have a real-time 
um, display on what would be the pipeline value you have. So yes, as you can see, the pipeline value I got currently is 50 and that's coming from an open leads. So we have like different, um, like what you got is section in our customer journey. You can book another call with me or any of our team if you want a like another work for uh work through for that one. Hang on, let me just update. I just realized I sent a wrong link to the chat. So this is the right link. Sorry for that. So you can try to check on that one. So yeah. So basically this dashboard right here will show you the statistics on how your account is doing. So we have here uh because we have different customer journey pipelines in there which has like different sections so i suggest you can check on our tutorials to have a maybe a thorough understanding for that one or you can also book a call with me so i can help you out so yeah and next up will be our inbox our inbox can be i can house um different sm um messaging channel um it will actually house your facebook uh business page messages you can reply your Facebook um, page messages here on your Techmedics inbox. Your Instagram DMs can also be mapped here as long as you linked it accordingly on our integrations. And aside from that, we also we can also do like emails and SMS into like one inbox channel. So when I go to inbox, you will see all the end reading here on the right hand side. The recent messaging you got, so you can keep track. The star, depending if you start a specific conversation and all to see all of the messaging or maybe, uh, yeah, messaging channel you got. So you will see everything here. And yeah, so here on manual actions, uh, this actually works well when you have the Techmatics app. So if you don't have the Techmatics app, you can up, uh, download it to your phone. Just type in in Google Play Store or maybe on like Apple App Store. Just type in Techmatics. You will see that it is created and founded by Saria, and that would be the exact uh, maybe um, app that you can download. So yeah, if you have any questions for that one, just maybe email us so we can assess you. So yeah, so manual actions is can be um, usually this one is triggered by a workflow. So we will have another discussion for that one because workflow is, is one of the biggest thing we have with Technetics and templates. This is actually pretty nice. Um, templates will house uh, basically templates. You will put in your maybe messaging templates in here and also SMS templates. If you have maybe um, basic inquiries coming in and you think that you can like, you know, you've been like typing the same thing from time to time. So you can just save it as a template and send it as a template. So for example, you can have this specific template right here. You can just click on add template. You can either add a text template or SMS template. We already have an email template. This is just for example. I'll just add maybe a, yeah, we, I can do SMS because we don't have SMS in here. Let me just try to edit this one. Uh, and, um, and I'll show you how you can um, try to use this template, uh, template into messaging. I'll just create a new one. So add email template. Let me just call it maybe tech toolbox template and then my subject would be uh, join us and I'll put it here what is it doing like this uh, tech toolbox subject will be join us and then join here let's just do it like that you can also put in your signature in here or whatever um, assets you want to add but for me let's just do it like that so when I click save, uh, tech toolbox is added. To actually use it to your messaging, you can use it on your conversation or in your inbox. When you have a true conversation, for example, I want to send out a template to one of my contacts right here. Give me one sec. Let's just wait for that one to load. So for example, I want to send Alice that exact like uh, email template. What you can actually do Click a send email here on the down in the downwards left. And then here you will see this. Um, I think this would be attached. Hang on, this one. So when I click on this one, this icon right here will uh, let you attach anything, maybe a file, an image, a document, whatever. And this one is where you can access the template. So when I click on this second icon, you will see it hovers use a template. 
here. Uh, let's just wait for that one. Sometimes it takes some time to load. And you don't have any templates here. Yes, yeah, so you can see it already showed up. So here in the drop down, you will see the tag toolbox, which I just added earlier. So that's how you can use the email template. Uh, I mean, the templates onto your basic conversation thread. So when I click on use template, you will see that it, um, it covers all of the, maybe the subject and also the body of what I added onto the template. So yeah, so that's how you can use the template. Trigger links, this is actually really great to maybe try to incorporate trigger links for your business. Uh, we have here, when I click on trigger links, the best thing about having trigger links, I actually use it uh, to track down how many clicks I got. And also it, it will track down to the client record on either they click on the specific trigger link or not. And also you can trigger a whole workflow for this one. So for example, you're sending out an email and then you will put a trigger link in there and you want to trigger an action. Maybe, for example, when someone click on this specific link, I want to send them another email. So you can do the trigger link like that. So trigger links are pretty much helpful. And also one um, good thing about it on how I use trigger link with um, like the business process is I saved all the recurring links in here. Recurring, recurring links can be your social media links, could be your offer links, could be your websites, could be anything that like, you know, on the web. So what you can see in here, we actually have a YouTube URL that you can click on edit put in the exact link of the YouTube URL in here, and that will automatically send out the uh, maybe YouTube link or maybe populate the YouTube link. And how to use the trigger links. Uh, let me just show you this because I think this will be pretty much one of the easiest thing to do. That's why I do trigger links from time to time. And I know it will take some time to load. So let's just go here on marketing emails. Let's just read some, some questions right here. Um, are there email templates in Techmatics or in the Academy? Yes, definitely. That email template um, that I showed earlier, Cadence, is basically can be used on the inbox or on the conversation when you're trying to talk to people and they're like asking uh, like, you know, recurring questions and you want to give them like um, recurring answers. So you can use that template. But what we have here under marketing and emails and email template are the actual email template that you can send out to your clients, maybe as a campaign or maybe as a template on the workflow. So for example, this one, uh, let me just try to do this one. I'll show you how helpful uh, Trigger Links is. Uh, so for example, uh, because you can see we have different social um, image footer here on our footer, right? So let me just try to drag social C here. Yeah. So for example, this social right here, and you want to fill in the Facebook link, what you can actually just do, click on this um, pencil right here under the URL, instead of putting the actual Facebook link, if you don't want to like, you know, copy paste from time to time, just click on this tag icon in the right hand side. It will give you an option to choose a trigger link. And with that one, just, uh, just uh, click on the Facebook page URL and that's it. So it will populate what you put into the trigger link. So that's one um, usage of the trigger link. It will actually save your link. So if you don't want to copy paste from time to time, maybe try to incorporate trigger links. Yeah. So aside from that, it also like, you know, you can track down and analyze the links you got from the trigger link. So yeah, you can also use it maybe here. Uh, let's see if it will work with um, hyperlink. So let's try to maybe, uh, this is RSS, let's not deal with RSS, maybe this one. So I'll try to click on link, so hyperlink it. And here under the link list, this is our, these are actually all trigger links. So this will be actually helpful for you if you want to maybe create a, maybe send out a like lead magnet link, maybe save your lead magnet link as a trigger link first and put it on your email. So yeah, so that would be for the trigger links. Uh, I'll show you the anal um the analyze one in a bit. Uh, let me just check on my messages. Um, while we hover to the conversation again, Facebook. I think Facebook are all clear. Yeah. 
So let's just wait for that one. Yep, so trigger links. And here down the links, you can see analyze and you will see how many clicks that exact uh, maybe trigger links got and stuff like that. So it's actually good to do trigger links if you want. So yeah, so aside from that, uh, we have calendars in here. We have a whole um, training on how to do calendars, how to integrate calendars and how you can um, create booking reminders for your calendars. So maybe Sal, can you help me put in the link for the calendar tutorial to the chat, please? So for those who haven't done like the calendars yet, that would be pretty helpful for you to maybe start organizing your bookings. So yeah, so so so, the, so these calendars right here, it will show you the um the whole calendar that you have. This tile right here will show all the booking slots you got from your clients, and here on the right hand side you will see a drop down that is saying my calendar. If you have multiple people or multiple users in that account, you can just like a click on the drop down and you can also switch to that exact user to see which specific bookings they got. So maybe if you're handling like multiple people for your bookings, it will be actually pretty great to track down uh, maybe their um, their process or their progress on the bookings. So yeah. And also you can actually uh, switch to Maybe groups, you can switch to per calendars and things like that. And here, let me just struggle to here. Yep, you can also uh, switch to that one. And also you can have a monthly, weekly, or daily view. And then here on the right-hand side, we have appointments, which is basically the same thing with a calendar. But the difference between appointments is it will have all the bookings on a list side. So instead of having it on a calendar where you can see the stop, time stop, you can actually see it via list when you hover to appointments. And after that one, calendar settings. This is the same calendar settings you can see on, <coughs> on your settings and calendar. Sorry for that. Oh my God. Hang on, give me one sec. Sorry, my air is really dry in here. Um, yeah, so basically this is the same uh, calendar settings you can see on your settings and calendars. Um, yeah, I think Giselle already sent the YouTube link, so that would be the one. Um, yeah, you can check on that YouTube link to see the tutorial on how to use calendars and how to integrate with techmaps. I'm sorry for that. So I just like drank some water to uh, lubricate my top, uh, my throat. So yeah. So let me just um. Okay. So thank you for waiting. So yeah. So basically, this is the calendar settings we got. You can check out preferences, availability. It has different like connections and integrations. So I suggest you can watch the full tutorial. So it will be uh you will be guided for the step by step um setup. So aside from that, let me just go back to the main dashboard and let's hover to contacts. Contacts and task manager is actually the same because when you go to contacts, uh, let's just wait for that one when I click on it. Okay. You can actually see the task manager here on top. So what we actually did, we just like did a shortcut for task manager to access it like, you know, um, instantly. But you can uh, just go to contacts and click on tasks to see your task manager. So what you can see in your contact list, I think you're already done, um, <clears throat> have been here like multiple times. We have different bulk, ac bulk action like section here on top where you can set a pipeline change like um, action, add a specific list to the workflow, Send a uh, like SMS, send an email, add a tag, remove a tag, delete the contact, send a review, import and export contact list. So we also have a different um, tutorial for that one. So maybe 
you can check on the free talkmatic scores for that. But let me just give you a quick walkthrough. Uh, <clears throat> um, is the workflow training Sara is offering this week using Techmatics or um I'm I'm I think she will be using Techmatics for that one, but they'll ask Febby about it because Febby has been doing a lot of those stuff. So yeah. So what you can uh, do with the bulk um actions with the contact list. You can actually, we have this check checkbox on the left-hand side. Checkbox on the left-hand side where you can click on it to create maybe a bulk action. So, for example, when I select Nat, I'll select Lisa, I'll select Alice. And what I can do is I can either, like, send them, like, message in bulk by clicking on this icon on the top that's saying uh, send SMS. <clears throat> when I click on that one. Let's just wait for that one. Sorry, my internet is really slow today. Yeah, so you will see this pop up. You can just click on OK, proceed. And this is where you can type in your um, SMS. And you can either send it like now. You can set it on a schedule or you can set it in the drip mode. The same with like the email campaign. Aside from that, you can also book send an um, email using this. Um, using this, uh, what do you call this? Using this um, strategy click on send email just the same thing with like sending email campaign but in here i think you can hang on yeah you can choose um the email template you got under marketing emails in here so you can either type in the email like manually or you can choose a template for that same thing you can send it on a schedule time or you can set it now yep so aside from that um on top you will see this list thing right here these are actually what we call smart lists so basically this all like this all section right here will be <clears throat> all of your contacts this thing right here are the smart lists so smart lists can be filtered either <clears throat> on a same category on a custom field or maybe via tag this exact smart list right here are filtered via tags so when i go here when you click on that specific smart list on the right hand side, when you click on more filters, you will see that this one is filtered by a tag that's, that is check in. So it means all the um all the contact that has a check in tag will be added to the smart list. So that's what smart list means. The same thing with demo two. Let's try to see what would be this demo two filter is. <clears throat> Facebook ads. So what will happen to demo two when someone is tagged as uh, Facebook ads, that will be added to the smart list. So to create a smart list, what you can actually just do, go on the right hand side, click on more filters, type in the exact maybe category that you want to group your contacts in. So for us, normally what we do is we use tag. So when I type in tag, on the drop down, select the tag that you want to filter out. For example, maybe um, let's just, um, I want to create a smart list for people that is tagged as maybe client. Let's try to do that one. And you can just click on apply. When you click on apply, this is not yet your smart list. What will show? Uh, what will happen here? This filtered contact, as you can see, your show, uh, it's showing one record right here. So it means this exact contact has the tag client. And to save it as smart list, here down below, you will see save as a smart list to actually save it. So just click on that one, call it maybe client list. Client list, save it. And let's just wait for that one to load. And let's just close this one down yeah so as you can see it is now added as a smart list so you'll see client list on top and the thing here for example for those people who either have like multiple people or multiple users in the account this smart list right here upon creating it this will only be visible to you to make it visible to everyone or to all of the users on your account click on manage smart list here and then you will see this client list. This is the exact thing we created earlier, right? Just go on the right-hand side. Click on this share icon right here. 
and then share it to everyone or to all of the user or to your account to make it visible to all of your maybe um, employees or to your staff. So yeah, so that smart list. Uh, do you have any questions for that one with a smart list? Uh, question from Cadence. Um, where do we uh, find a cost schedule for one sex? <clears throat> I think we got it on our website. Can you please pull it out, um, Giselle, the um, breakdown of the cost of SMS? Yeah. And also, I think uh, it's actually per segment. And usually, text usually contains maybe one to two segments. So, yeah. So, let's just wait for Giselle to pull it out. Yeah. So let's continue with the other things. We have bulk actions in here that are basically um, all the bulk actions you um, you did in your account. So when I hover to bulk action, um, it not it's not working. Okay, let's just go here. Uh, contacts. Go to bulk actions. Yeah. So this bulk actions right here are basically the bulk action you did. So it could be either sending email sending text or maybe book deleting contacts importing contacts and stuff like that and you can actually see the statistics for the book actions you did so when you click on here on the right hand side you will see that statistics click on show stats and you will see see the statistics of that exact actions so yeah um and you can also click on view details to see what would be this about so as you can see this is a book email and this is when it was scheduled and stuff like that and then after that one the statistics is not showing but yes yeah, so as you can see this exact thing right here is actually sent out to nine people and the successful rate is about 89 maybe one opt-in i mean one opt-out so one unsubscribe that's why it got like this and yeah so basically this is the uh the exact statistic that you can see if you want to expand it what you can just do is just click on the number or the digits right here. So when I click on the digit, you will see that it expanded into this whole thing where you can see the exact or maybe the actual numbers of how the mini emails are set out. Yeah. So, um, Cadians, I think um, pretty much we actually already warmed up the account so you can either send out like lots uh, uh like multiple emails sarah herself maybe sent out uh, i think maybe five digits emails a day and also we have um ab which actually we have rents right here they're actually sending out maybe 10k emails like every day or yeah so yeah so i'm not sure if we have any limits but for the costing it will be maybe our uh we, we have we are giving like fee um, email number of emails that you can send out a month but for the limit I don't think it has as long as your like maybe contact lists are clean make sure you don't have any maybe bounce emails make sure you got uh, to run an email validation to the contact list so yeah so you will get uh, the thing with the emails you are actually get banned if you have maybe a like unclean contact list so if you have a high bounce rate a rate your account will be suspended for 24 hours. So make sure maybe you run a validation test to your contact list. Make sure those are working emails and not um and not maybe spam emails or maybe like the emails that are not like registered. So yeah, so we have here. And yeah, so that's the bulk actions here in your store. If you have any specific thing that you want to restore, you can go here. Task is actually pretty, pretty like simple. It's not like, you know, the same thing with the other task manager, but it will work though. So you can like read off different activations with sending out do that to your team members, do that to your clients, or do that to your like uh, staff. So I'm not able to click on any of this. Sorry, this is actually a computer problem. And here are company, Spanish whitelist. I think we're all good with the uh, context. It's just pretty much basic and most of the times, you don't use this thing right here. So let's just move on to customer journey. The same thing. I think I already gave you a preview with this one. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of things you can do with a pipeline. So I suggest you can watch a tutorial for that one because it's pretty um helpful if you want to incorporate it to your business. So pipelines are really great. 
to visually see where your client is um, actually at with the process. So here into the pipelines, we're currently on opportunity. So let's flip, uh, switch on pipelines. And it's not working. So sorry, this is actually my computer not working. And yeah. So pipeline, this is basically where you can um, customize the um, customer journey or the pipeline. You can either create one in here by clicking on create new pipeline, but you can use the existing one we have. You can just like customize it into your liking. So to actually customize the client pipeline, just click on this pencil icon. You will see all this pipeline stage right here. You can either delete this one if you you think this will be uh, not helpful for you, or you can either edit it, maybe um, new leads opt-in. Let's call it like that. And after that one, you can either move stages across each other. So for example, I'll put no show maybe as number two, and I'll book. Uh, I'll have call attended here. So you can either remove things using this arrow right here. And after that one, just click save. And then let's hover to opportunities again. And yeah, so basically this is the update, the, uh, update we have. We just put up in here. And you can actually manually like move things across. So for example, Alice is a new lead, but she already maybe... Uh, purchase a course with me so i'll just drag it here across the screen so you can do alice like that or for example alice is no longer interested and you want to maybe put them into loss like leads you can just drag alice here put her into loss or for example alice is a one client but you can actually just do and maybe febby just put febby as one and you can actually mark febby as one it means that febby uh, febby is actually an actual client now so here on top, you will see different filters. So this client pipeline right here, you can switch through a different customer journey you have. <clears throat> so this one is currently a client pipeline. But we have three more that you can switch to. Aside from that, we actually have an owner in here. If you are assigning your leads into your the specific staff member, you can use this one. <clears throat> campaign, we have campaign here. And this one would be the status of the lead. So for example, when I hover up to all, you will see all the um, contact lists in here. Let's just wait for that one. It's still gathering data. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so let's just read for that. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, thank you, Giselle. So if you want to check out the pricing we got, just uh, actually set the link for that one. So you, maybe you can check out. Let me just, uh, while we wait on that one, I'll just check on our Facebook group. And yeah, I think we're clear with that. <clears throat> so yeah, I think it's not working. But you can hover to maybe, if you just want to see all the one clients you have, you can just like, Filter it by a one. If you want to see all the lists, a uh, loss, you can filter out to the loss. So yeah. Sorry, it's not really like letting me in. So let's just move to payments. Payments actually has a lot of things right here that we're actually working on, like doing trainings for this one. But basically, you can now do invoices with Techmatics. Uh, you can see all the order subscription products that you can actually import from Stripe. And you can link it through your funnels if you want to maybe create the checkout form for that one. Coupons that you can also do, tax settings and education. Sorry, I won't like go through all of this stuff like for now because I'm currently, uh, we're currently doing some trainings with that one with our team because like payments and stuff like here is actually has a broader, like you know, broader uh, scope. So we have to be very careful with the information we send out. So yeah. So we'll, maybe we'll um we will have Saria to do this training with the payments thing, okay. So yeah, Stripe payments. This is actually just visible for me. This is as I said, and marketing and emails. So marketing and emails. This is where you can do the marketing, uh, starting from social media planner down to email like links. Trigger links is actually um available with here too, and affiliate manager. This can be done with the courses that are maybe do we um created on the funnel and check out 
So let me see. I don't think we have a tutorial for that one yet. So maybe I'll, I'll put it in my note. Give me one sec. Okay. So we'll create a tutorial for that one because it has a lot of things that we need to cover with our affiliate. So yeah, affiliate manager. So we will create another tutorial for that one. But basically under marketing, you can see social planner where you can link on different social media sites. So for Facebook, you can actually link up to five Facebook pages and five Facebook groups. So if you want to, maybe if you are like handling multiple Facebook pages, it will be actually really great to integrate uh, Techmatic's uh, social planner with your social media postings. So aside from that, we also have um, Instagram, Google My Business, LinkedIn, Twitter, and uh, TikTok. Currently, our dev is working on getting the stories live to the um, social media planner. So yeah, so that's the social media planner. Here are the emails and email builder. This is where you create the email template and campaigns. These are all the emails that we're getting out. So let me just show you an example. So email campaigns are basically coming from email builder. You have to transform your email builder or email template is into a campaign to actually send it out. So uh, I don't think this is working now. Give me one sec. Let me just refresh my screen. Emails and email builder. So yeah, so let's just wait for that one. Let me try to switch to server. Yep. So yeah, so these are the email templates we have. It is it will be categorized by a folder on how you can maybe utilize it. But for example, let me just try to do this one. So this exact email template right here, we can actually convert it as a campaign to actually send it out. When I edit a exact like maybe email template, when I click on edit right here, let's just wait for that one to load. And it's taking time. So if you guys if you guys have any questions, just put it on the chat box so maybe we can adjust it. <clears throat> I'm not sure it's working. So yeah, so here into actions, you can actually convert this exact thing into maybe a campaign to actually send it out. So yeah, so sorry, I, I don't think I will like show you an actual thing to do that one because um, it's not letting me in. But yeah, so basically you can convert this one into a campaign and it will show up under campaign. So now it works. So let me just drag this one. So I'll just pre-create or pre-click on the thing right here on the right hand side. Give me one sec. So yeah, so this is the basic uh, email editor we, we got. Uh, this is the title that you can see on top. On the three dots on the right hand side, this is where you can maybe Test an email out, preview the template and how it looks like on phone, on mobile, and on tablet. And then a version history, if you want to maybe restore a specific version. Settings, this is where you can put in the sender email, sender name, and then a preview text and the subject for this exact email. And then you can just save the template. And after you actually send out the template, what you can do next, hang on. So... So for example, we already sent, uh, saved this template right here and we want to send it out. What you can actually do, go back to your email builder. On your right-hand side, click on action. And then, yeah, I think I figured out it works low when I am like on the screen that I was sharing Zoom with. Sorry, so let me just pre, okay. This is weird. Okay, so as you can see, I click on this action right here and you will have this option to create campaign. So click on that one and see what will happen. Uh, yep, so it opened a new tab. So yeah, so as you can see earlier, the email template we got under Email Builder has only a save option here on top on the right-hand side, but now it al already has a send or schedule option. So it means you can, now, uh, you can now send it to your maybe email list, maybe to your clients or maybe to your like maybe students and stuff like that. So you can either send now, schedule it or batch schedule or put it on drip mode. Here on the right hand side, this is where you can put in the email subject for the email, the preview text that you want and also the recipient. 
So you can send out the email to, uh, email campaign from TechPathics to either all of your contacts, where you can click on all contacts. As you can see, nine contacts are selected because I or I only have nine contacts in here. Or you can either send it to a smart list. So just hover to send smart list. Here to drop down, click on a smart list that you want to send this email out. Or you can either choose via tag. So if you forgot to create a smart list, you can actually create via tag. I mean, send it via tag. So just click on this drop down and it will give you the, uh, the option of the tags you can select. And then from that, you can send out the email. So yeah, so we have a condition right here where you can actually, for example, this tag right here is, uh, let me just select tag. For example, check in clients. So I want to send this um, email to check in clients. So we have a condition right here that you can either um, just send it to all the existing check-in like clients, or you can actually include all the upcoming check-in people. So for example, you schedule it by tomorrow and by the evening, you have people coming in as a check-in client. Uh, even though you schedule it like, you know, earlier in that day, they will be also included to the campaign because you uh, toggle on this advanced condition right here. So yeah, so I'll just save it. So this is basically um, the email uh, builder we have. To make it like live, you can actually just get uh, click on schedule and it will like go out to your contact list. So that's what will happen. Uh, under, uh, this is a question for Cadence. Under send or schedule email, if you forget to create a smart list, can you choose a tag? Yes, that's basically um, passable client. So yeah, so as you can see down below, let me just go back here. So yeah, so you can just choose from tag. So yeah, if you forgot to create a smart list, you can just toggle tag on. Yeah. Nah, so, yeah. Matt, Matt, you mentioned that before, but my question right at the end of my question was, can you then use that list from the tags to create the smart list? Or do you have uh, to go back to smart list and start and just use that part of the website? You mean with those like people you send out email to? Yeah, so the one where you just went through and you said if you've forgotten to um, create a smart list mm -mm. and you can use tags instead, is mm -mm. there some way of going, oh, crap, I forgot to do that. Can I use this then to create a smart list? Or Yes, definitely. Mm -mm. So if you're sending out that exact email via tag, you can just go back to your contacts, filter your contacts by that exact tag and save that smart list. So it's actually the same thing. So they think that will work. Hey, Carol. So I think Carol just jumped in. And yep, so I think that would be good. And then let's go back to marketing and emails. So aside from that, we have the, the templates right here, which is actually the same thing with the conversation template. But you can choose this one if you have maybe a specific block that is current, like kind of recurring. Trigger links, the same thing. Affiliate Manager will create a different like tutorial for that one. Automated workflows. Saria will create uh something big for this one for the workflow. So I suggest you can join that one. Uh, we will um post an update to our group with that exact uh like uh workshop. So yeah, and then after that one, so let's just skip workflow for now because it has like a lot of things. So if we will discuss workflow, it will like take us maybe three hours to go through the exact thing. So yeah, so let's go to sites and courses. We have here the funnels templates, the website templates, and also basically the course area. So let's just wait for that one. I'll just drag this across the screen that doesn't have the Zoom share because I figured it works faster when I'm not sharing the screen with. Okay, sites and courses here. Give me one sec. Let me try to duplicate this one. Uh, okay. And yeah. So do you guys have any questions so far? Uh, give me one sec. Uh, let me just go through the comments we got from our Facebook Live. Uh, give me one sec. <laughs> Facebook. And oh, not this one.
I think we're pretty much clear on a Facebook. So let me just drag my other screen. Uh, give it one sec. Okay, got it. So this is our sizing courses. We have our like funnel building here where we um currently updating the template. So if you can see any templates in here that is not available on your account, we're currently working on it on getting uh like the templates like updated to to your account. So we have funnels, we have websites, we have individual um like tutorial for this one, and then blogs where you can create your blogs, publish your blogs, and stuff like that. WordPress hosting if you have your WordPress account maybe. Um, host it somewhere else and you want to host it inside Techmatics, you can actually do that. But it will be $14.99 on top with your monthly subscription. So yeah. So if you have any questions with uh hosting or WordPress hosting, you can email us at supporttechmatics.com so we can assist you. Membership and courses, this is basically where you house your uh courses so basically courses so we have here analytics where you can see the uh, student progress or maybe assessment su uh, submission and stuff like that setting for the overall setting of your site like course site and then um offers for the offers bundles and pricing for your courses products is actually the exact like course product or the course structure so yeah we also have like multiple training for the courses so yeah so i will just um you can check out our youtube um channel for the recordings and also like other stuff with the um course training uh forms we can actually create forms with our tech um, techmatics we have multiple wordpress websites that we actually integrated with techmatics forms so for those who didn't know we are actually a plugin in WordPress. It's called Lead Connector. And to actually make the software talk to each other, what our clients do with uh, those clients who are who has their WordPress maybe website up, they just integrate their Techmatics platform to WordPress by embedding the form. So if you have any questions with like maybe form embedding to your WordPress site, just email us or maybe book a call with me so I can help you out. So yeah, same thing with the form, uh, with the survey. We have a different thing with the survey too. And then chat widget, you can click on that one. So let's try to do chat widget for now. So you can set up chat widget to your website to maybe collect uh, questions and stuff like that. So you can just fill in all the necessary information right here. Uh, go to chat window, update all the text right here. And then acknowledgement settings, and then click save. So it's just pretty like straightforward thing right here. I'll just leave that one to you to work it out. So once you save this specific website right here, you can actually get it for WordPress if you want to integrate it with WordPress. But maybe if you have your maybe website and Techmatics, what you can actually just do, go to your website template. Uh, let's have, for example, my website right here. Let's see if it's currently in here. Uh, this would work um, the same thing with funnels and websites. So what you can do once you got your chat widget set up, go to your website template or that funnel template, go to setting right here. And then after that one, just enable chat widget. So in th that's basically what you need to do. Just click on this toggle and it will, it will enable the chat widget to your um, website or maybe funnel template inside Techmatics. So yeah, so that's only what you need to do to enable your chat widget. Just set it up first and enable it here. So I'll just click save and let's try to preview it if it would work. So let's try to preview it and I'll just check on the... And, uh, yep. With the chat widgets, um, yep. we can enter in questions and automated answers to those questions, yeah? Um, for now, we can actually custom, uh, customize the form submission yet. So you can either, uh, yeah, basically we can on, only ask name, the email, and the message that you want to like uh, send out. So mm -hmm. yeah, so basically that's only the information we can get for now. Mm -mm. Okay, so we can't actually um, have live communication to support someone who has questions. I uh, know, for now, no. Okay. But for yeah, this is for the maybe for the client website or your website. Uh, basically, the only information we can get is the basic content information and the message you want to send. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. So, yeah. Thank you. 
So we have a different uh, tutorial for this one too. So you can either create a workflow and submission for this one to send out maybe autoresponder to those people who are uh, maybe sending out or maybe filling out the chat widget you got. You can send out maybe automatic email or maybe send out automatic text or maybe you can also, uh, what do you call this, notify yourself so you can reply to them automatically. So all of the submission right here will be automatically um, um, mapped to your inbox. So you will see all the chat widget like um, opt-ins to your inbox once they like submitted the chat widget form. Yeah. Aside from that, reviews. This works well when you when you have your maybe Google My Business link, but if not, you can actually link your uh, Facebook reviews in here. So you can automatically send out review requests to your clients. So you can just click on send review request, put the client name in here. Uh, for example, let's just do Sarah Corner. And yeah, so it will give you uh, maybe a, what do you call this? A suggestion in wh which contact you currently use. And you can just easily send out the um, review request. So sorry for that. I won't go through each of the steps for now. And then reporting. If you're running like different ads, maybe Facebook ads, Google ads and stuff like that, it will be actually good to um, maybe try to work out uh, this specific reporting right here. So this account doesn't have a Facebook um, ads yet, but yeah, agent reporting, we'll, we will create a different thing for that one because this is basically helpful for those people who have multiple maybe um, staff or multiple yes, uh, users to their account. So yeah, so you can have this different recordings to your account. And here, these are just basically custom menu links we just added. For those people who are not part of our Facebook page yet, you can just go here. I mean, Facebook group. You can just go here on the left-hand side of your menu. Click on Facebook community group and join our Facebook group. So we can, uh, you can ask questions in there. Post maybe um, some concerns or maybe questions you want to ask. And then aside from that one, this is a free Techmatics course. Uh, let me see if I can get it here. Uh, if you can't get through this thing right here, you can actually go to www.techmatics.com. Let's just wait for that one to load. And then you can claim access for the free tech medics course. If you have maybe VAs, if you have stuff that you want uh, to have access with the course, you can just give them a, uh, you can just make them like click on this exact button right here and they can just sign up for the membership and they will give, be given like free access to the course. Or, and after that one, we have YouTube, uh, YouTube tutorials here. So for those people who are actually asking where we are posting the, um, tutorial for um, the tech toolbox, you can just go to this left-hand side or you can go to YouTube and type in Techmatics on our channel. We will upload all the recordings we have, all the trainings we got and stuff like that. So you, just, you can just click on click to watch more tutorial videos and you will be redirected to our YouTube channel. And aside from that, this is our a new knowledge base. Uh, for those people who just jump in, I have given them a uh, like walkthrough on how to probably um, uh, maximize the use of our knowledge base. So we have different things right here from uh, messaging down to funnel to domains and stuff like that. Yeah. So do you guys have any questions? I think we ran out of time. Do you guys have any questions for me? Yeah, so I think we're good. So I'm just letting you know that we have a book a call uh, menu here onto our website. You can go to www.technetics.com, click on book a call. You can either book a call with our specialist by clicking on click here to book for a uh, tech support, or you can individually book a call with me, Fabi, Giselle, or Chelsea if you are in the US time zone, if you need any help. So yeah, and also please don't forget to maybe, um, for those who haven't uh, done it yet, the new line of support we got, see this chat widget on the right-hand side, click on that one. This is the new lines of support we got. The response rate is around um, one to two minutes. So if you need urgent maybe help, please contact our chat support right here. Okay. So do you guys have any questions? Yeah, I think we're good. So thank you so much for jumping on for today's call, guys. So I'll see you next time. Bye.